I made this uh, hydrangea wreath recently with dried hydrangeas and I'll show you how you can make your own. It is very important to know when to cut the hydrangeas from the plants. They need to feel dry to touch and uh, notice that they are changing color a little and when you touch them uh, they feel dry. That's when you know that the hydrangeas are ready to be cut. Cut the hydrangeas with the stems longer. Look how long the hydrangea stems are and remove every single one of the leaves. Take off the leaves and make sure that the hydrangea stems are very long. Now take a little jar of water, don't take a lot, just a small jar with a little bit of water and put the stems on the water. Such a pretty bunch of hydrangeas here. This chartreuse colored one is from limelight hydrangea, beautiful color. This is a bunch of fire and ice with long stems. Look how long the stems are. Lovely pink fire and ice hydrangea. Then you bring your hydrangeas inside and keep it away from the light. If you keep it in sunlight, it will lose the colors. The colors will fade. So keep it away from sunlight. And I leave it like this for about 7 days. So this is how they look after about 7 days. I remove them from the water. Look how beautifully the colors are retained after they dry. They are now absolutely dry. So these are now all ready to be used in the arrangement. Mm, but uh, look how they retain the color. Isn't this beautiful? This is the wreath form that I use. There are different sizes. This one is 12 inches. It's not very big, but it's just the right size. Uh, well, the diameter is 12 inches. I bought this from Michael's. I bought many from Michael actually, just like that in different sizes. But the one that I will show you today is about 12 inches and you need and you need floral for floral uh, wires like this. You get this in Michaels as well. I got this from Michaels. I always keep this at home because I make so many bouquets and stuff. So um, one actually lasts quite a long time for me. But I'm um, just showing you this is the. This is the floral wire that I use. So what you do is you put together this, uh, this uh, dried flower branches like this. Don't tie them. I don't tie them at the beginning at all. And you take this, take your wreath form and place it in the wreath form just like so or whatever way you want it to look, whether it is like this or like this, whichever side looks better, I will put it like this. Like I said, don't tie the, tie the stalks yet. Now, after you place it, then you take the, the floral wire and tie it to the wreath form. Make sure you make it tight, like so. Okay, now that I have tied this, I will take another handful. The fuller it is, the better it looks. So take another handful, like this. And see, this is faced this way. So I'm going to place it like this. 
so that it looks very full like this and see i didn't cut the floral wire after i tied it before so now i'm going to tie it with the same floral wire make sure you pull it tight flush against the wreath one other thing to take note of is don't cut the stalks leave the stalks till you're done i'll tell you why but for now leave the stalks so this is exactly you do what you do you have taken done two then you do more just make sure that you're alternating one goes this way one goes this way next will come like this just so that your wreath is full and you tie it hard and then you do the entire thing like this just like just like this till the entire thing is full see now the reason i ask you not to cut the cut the flower stalks is because it helps you see it helps this the petals stay stronger when you have the flower stalks and they the, it maintains the shape longer well it's going to maintain the shape as long as you like it to maintain after you're done in in the wreath form tie a ribbon with which you can hang now what you can do after you are done say you think that one side is a little sparse you want it to look a little fuller you can just take a extra dried hydrangea and put it in like this see now it's not so sparse anymore that is how it looks hope you will try it let me know how it goes Good luck, bye.